Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Bless all of the hands that prepared this food, Lord Jesus, in the kitchen that it was prepared in. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. chicken wings all right so let me just give you a little background on where i got this from so this seafood platter is from swaggles kitchen at located at benny's bistro in Trent, new jersey at 627 north olden avenue now this kitchen is ran by my uncle joe mcbride aka swaggles hence the name swaggle kitchen Patches is going to be in the background because I got home not too long ago, but I did like take her for her walk or whatever the case may be. But she wants to, of course, play fetch. She is terrible. Like, I, I'm going to tell you all about her. She's two years old. She's a shirky. The shit's still in the Yorkie mix. She my daughter. She spoiled you rotten to the core. Like... Very demanding. She thinks she runs things. Like, I don't know what to do with her, y'all. Please comment down below with some um some dog trainers or some dog trainers on some tips to how to get her in in order because she is a hot mess. But anyway, so at Swaggle's Kitchen, every one of his niece has an item on the menu. So, my item on the menu is seafood. Seafood is my seafood, is my seafood day. Now, we do seafood every first Friday of the month. Wings by Nashira. Rest in peace to my, my great cousin, Nashira. Um, these are her perfectly seasoned wings. These wings are named after her, and they are the bomb. Seasoned perfectly. Um, so, we want to dive right into this mukbang um i you guys been asking me some questions i put a couple polls on instagram and i told y'all to ask me some questions and y'all asked me some questions so i'm gonna answer the questions in this video so i have my little my sauce okay so this platter y'all this platter comes with, my bad, my bad, y'all. This platter comes with two clusters of crab legs. It comes with six shrimp. It comes with corn, broccoli, potatoes, eggs, and some sausage, some kibasi sausage. Um, and, and you can get all of this for $35. And then I got the little secret sauce on the side. Oh, yeah, so this us get into the crab, okay? Let's get into this. Let's get into this, okay? First, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Oh, it's going to break. Come on, why you do me like that? Why you break? Why you do me like that? Why you... See, I'm not no professional. This ain't no professional mukbang. This is my first mukbang. And I just got on here because I thought that I needed to get on here and eat this food and answer some questions for y'all. Look at that, y'all. You know what I say? Yes, my hands already, already ah! obey. And that's a little bit spicy because I <coughs> me and spicy don't get along, y'all. Mm. Let me wipe off my hands. I don't know, I it's the obey, y'all. It's the obey. 
Then we got potato. Now I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to show y'all the potato, right? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all, let's take time. It's crazy that I'm doing one of these because I do not like watching mukbangs. Like, they do one of the two each time. Annoy the crap out of me. Or, just like, cracks me up. Like, I just be so dead. Like, I think it's so funny. So, excuse me if I'm a little goofy in this video, y'all. So, I got me some broccoli. Here's some broccoli. Mmm, nice and tender. And good. Yeah, I got I'm real hungry, y'all. So, I'm about to set this up. So, I'm really trying to be mindful while eating this. I was reading something on mindful eating today. And I'm really supposed to be taking my time. They say you're supposed to, each piece of food you put in your mouth, you're supposed to chew it 32 times. Like, that's too much chewing. Like, and growing up, my dad always took his time eating. He always was mindful eating. He always took his time and chewed. Like, he would be chewing forever. And I'm like, Dad, you eat so slow. Like, he like, you, you want to taste your food when to be able to enjoy your food and I didn't understand that until now so now I'm reading on it and I'm trying to be mindful uh but I'm hungry y'all so okay so let's example of being mindful my as an example of mindful eating so okay we have a sausage okay I noticed the sausage the sausage is brown um is round okay it's a bit thick it has juices on it. It looks like it has some garlic and like dark spots on it. It smells like the seasoning that I just dipped it in. Okay, so now we're going to go with the taste. This is too much sugar. I would have been swallowed it by now. <laughs> Okay. Child. I taste what I'm tasting. I'm tasting saucy. I'm tasting savory. I don't know what else I'm tasting. It tastes like sausage. I don't know. Um y'all do not take this mindful to <laughs> that is a somewhat of an example of uh, mindful eating, y'all. Okay? So, I'm gonna uh, eat some of this chicken. Oh. All right, all right. This girl is greedy because how are you eating a whole seafood platter and chicken at the same time? Because I am because I can, and who's going to check me? Not you. God going to check me. God, check me. Don't check me. <laughs> they be like, be careful what you pray for. Be careful what you ask for. So don't check my ass. I'm good, okay, Lord? I, um, I ain't going to eat no fried foods or starches tomorrow. Is my last name really love? Yes. I was born with the last name Love. Thanks to my dad, Evan Jake Love. Mm. Mm. Thanks to him, my last name is really love. I got my last name from him, and he got his last name from his dad, and his dad from John. So yeah, my last name really is love. Mmm. Yeah. These not share perfectly seasoned wings is the bomb, y'all. 
If y'all in the trend area, y'all need to really go down to Swaggles Kitchen and get y'all some of his chicken. Don't even know. Y'all don't even know. Mmm. 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 <laughs> so, next question is let me look. How long have I had my locks? So, if y'all didn't know, I am locked. Okay, it's back in the pony stuff now. Last time y'all saw me, I had put it in two bones and I had to back out. But today, I washed my hair last night and I didn't feel like doing it last night. So, I just left it alone. So, that means I'm going to have to rewash it. But it's okay. I just needed to wash it yesterday. Yesterday, I was feeling, I don't know, I was just feeling all icky yesterday. Like, so I needed to wash my hair. I didn't care if I was doing it or not. I just needed it washed. So, I washed it. And I'm letting it breathe. It's breathing right now. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to retwist it this weekend. Probably, like, um, Saturday. Saturday or Sunday night. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. But I've been locked for almost 10 years. Um, it will be 10 years in November. It's been a long journey. Um, I might talk more about my, my locks in other videos. But I had them for 10 10 years, y'all. It's been long. And I love them. They're locked, y'all. They they're not dread. And when somebody say dreads, I just, uh, like, like, come on. Come on with it. Like, really. Stop calling them dreads. They're not dread. They're nothing dreadful. Like, we've been calling our locks dreads for years, not even knowing how we got the name. Where where a dread come from. Like, get out of here. So anyway, 10 years, y'all. Okay, so now I'm getting into the shrimp. Mm. I love the shrimp with the shell on because the shell holds in so many flavors. Like, so I ain't even about to take the shell off, y'all. Let me show y'all what I'm about to do, y'all. Do not judge me, okay? This ain't this channel ain't for that, okay? So let me show y'all what I'm about to do with this shrimp. Hmm. Suck the meat right out of the shell, just like that. Period. Mmm. Mmm. Let me. Mmm. Well, let me be mindful. Let me be mindful. <laughs> Y'all. That's gonna take some time. I know y'all probably want me to be all cute. Like, why you eating like that? Ew. Child, this is how I eat. Hold on, hang on. What do you eat? And peel the shrimp. Peel all the shell off. Y'all want me to devein it and all that. Now, I need all of that. I need all that ish. <laughs> this is how y'all want me to Y'all want me to peel the shrimp. Like this, like so, and then you want me to dip it in that sauce. Look at that! 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 Mmm. 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 That's really good, y'all. That's really, really good. No cap. No, oh, I don't even use <laughs> I don't even use that saying no cat, but no cat for real. So now let's take a bite of this corn, right? Let's get into this corn. Hmm. Hmm. It's spicy. But it's good. Alright, so next question. 
Okay, this is a good one. How much weight have you gained since you stopped going to the gym? Ciao. Y'all really want to know? Alright, I got over another crab leg to answer this question. Before I answer this question. Mm. Oh, I got a good piece, y'all. got a good piece, y'all. Look at that. Y'all see that? Y'all see my nasty hands. I know y'all like, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Alright, I'm going to stop doing that for real. I ain't no professional. This is my first time, y'all. Don't judge me. I keep telling y'all. Mm. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. So, how much weight have I lost? How much weight have I gained? So, I lost 45 pounds. And I gained 45 pounds back. And that's how much weight I gained since I was to do. All the weight that I lost. Right back on. Right back on. And then she put it right back on. Right back on. Ooh, no, baby. Yeah. I just gotta let that be my motivation to to lose it again. You know? I did it before, I could do it again. Just like God. If he did it before, he'll do it again. Yeah. Same God right now. Then he was back then. Okay. So. 45 pounds. And then I know y'all like, 45 pounds? Are you still eating? <laughs> yes. Because what? What's Chris Brown say? Flaws and all, I love them all. To me, you perfect. Yes, to me, I'm perfect. Period. Like, I want to lose weight for my health. So I won't have diabetes and all that that run in my family. Because I'm I'm perfectly healthy right now. Now, I've been healthy my whole life. Like, I don't have no asthma. I don't have bad allergies. Like, I don't have no, no diseases. Like, The only thing that the doctor ever said was wrong with me that I'm morbidly obese, okay? So, I want to lose weight so I can for, for myself, for my future self, and for my future kid. I'll be able to live a long life. Like, my um, great grandma lived till she was, what, 98 or something like that? And my grandma that's still living, my dad's mom, is 92. So, I can live a long life, okay? I'm gonna live so God can use me anywhere at any time. Period. What's the next question? When did you dye your hair? Well, it don't even look like my hair dyed right now. Look at all this new growth, y'all. Look at it. It's crazy. So I dyed my hair Before my birthday last year. My birthday is July 7th. It's coming up, y'all. Um, I dyed it, like I want to say, <clears throat> July, July 2nd of last year. And I, now it's really not red. It's like brown and orange and purple. A little bit of like ashy red. I don't know. Cause it strips every time you wash it and like the sun changes the color as well it's just a lot to keep up with red hair like anybody who's a red hair redhead knows that it's a lot to keep up with red hair so 
I'm not even about to have this color in for too much longer, y'all. But I'm not going to speak on it, okay? So, yeah. So, last year for my birthday. I turned 25 last year. I'll be 26 in July, y'all. Y'all, my next question. <laughs> ah, my next question. <laughs> um... It says, are you still a lesbian? That's my, that was my, that was my next question. Are you still a lesbian? I don't even know my sexuality, first of all, so. Somebody that asked me this question, like, because I never said anything about my sexuality on YouTube. But those that know me, know that I, I've dated women in the past, so they want to know. I guess they want to know if I still date women. They ask me if I'm still a lesbian. I don't know. No, I don't live with myself, but I'm dating men currently. Dating men currently. That's the answer. Next question. Are you in a relationship? my relationship no that's the answer i'm single y'all for all you um god fearing men out there <laughs> hey hey <laughs> do i have any kids patches ass she the only kid i got i got god sons i already know i got god sons with patches and these you kids. To to you gotta do what? I gotta fight. What's up, guys? Well, this is as long as you say. I was playing. I'm just playing. This is me, Hezekiah. I'm about to start another video starting Monday, so y'all. Two of them, Tamir, he's eight years old, and Hezekiah is ten. I'm their second mom, but I know I don't have any kids of my own. But I do want them though. No cap, I want kids so bad. Like, but y'all already know what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for God to tell me that I'm ready. Question. Um, the next question How is your relationship with Christ? Well, that's a good question. I talk to him daily. We communicate. He loves me. I love him. He's loyal. And I trust him with all my heart. So, our relationship is good. I mean, I'm still getting to know him. Like, I was just telling him the other day, like, you know everything about me. Like, everything. Everything. My past, my present, and my future. And I just want to just get to know him a little bit more, right? Just help me. Help me to get to know you. Like, that's how I was talking about. Like, I want to get to know him better. But our relationship was good. Like, that's my guy. Like, we, we're here, you know? We're, we're here. Our relationship is tight. It's dope. He provides my every need and I love him like more than anything and that's period what's my favorite gospel song y'all asked let me see right now at the time let me see what's my favorite gospel song right now at the time and I um okay he's 
he's able. Who's in that? Norman? Somebody? I don't know, but y'all know. God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, hallelujah. Right, Y'all don't get me started in here for real. Mmm. Mmm. So, yeah. That's that's my favorite song right now. My favorite gospel song right now. Y'all ain't asked this, but my favorite secular song right now is, I want to say I'm a savage, had it too nasty, talk bitch, but my bitch can't match it, but that's not even it. It's, um, and I've been listening to this every day for like two weeks straight, a couple times a day. Um. Megan the style and go freak. Like, I don't know why. I just can't. Like, I I be waking up thinking, big old freak. <laughs> big, big, big old treat. Like, I don't. I don't. Be on the bed. I'm up in the head. I don't. I don't know why. That's my favorite song right now. But I like that song a lot. And I listen to a lot of, um. Instrumentals like a lot of saxophone and violin covers because I'm a bit obsessed with those two instruments. But right now, my favorite violin cover is um, The Box by G Sharp. What? <laughs> professional mukbanger so if this video wasn't hitting like y'all thought it was gonna be hitting for the mukbang my bad y'all i just wanted to come over here and eat and answer some questions but thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video make sure to give me a thumbs up and comment down below with some questions for my next question and answer because i only had a few questions so anyways y'all thank you thank you so much i hope you guys are being safe being safe know that i love you know that god love you and until next time be blessed